Struggling with messy code? Let Copilot help you review and refactor like a pro. Today, I'm going to teach you what you need to know to start refactoring and reviewing code with GitHub Copilot. Whether you're polishing your first project or just looking to clean up your code, GitHub Copilot's got your back. I'm Kadesha, and I'm so excited that you're here with me today. Let's dive right in. First off, what exactly is a code review and what does it mean to refactor when it comes to your code? Code review is like having a second pair of eyes on your code. It helps you catch bugs, improve code quality, and ensure consistency. Refactoring, on the other hand, is the process of restructuring existing code without changing its functionality. Think of it as tidying up your workspace to make things more efficient and easier to understand. In any development project, maintaining clean and efficient code is crucial to make future work easier. But let's face it, it's easy to let things get messy, especially when you're juggling multiple tasks. That's where GitHub Copilot can come in handy. It not only assists in writing code, but also makes the review and refactoring process smoother and more efficient. Now, let's take a look at some real-world examples. Imagine you have a function that's getting too long and too hard to follow. With Copilot, you can highlight that function and ask for refactoring suggestions. Copilot might break it down into smaller, more manageable pieces or optimize the logic for better performance. Another example is, suppose you have a block of code that's not following your team's naming conventions. Copilot can automatically suggest the correct variable names helping to ensure consistency across your project. Okay, so let's say that we have this dashboard component and we want to see if there's anything that can be improved. We can open up Copilot chat and ask, how can I improve this code? Copilot will then take a look at our code and give us some suggestions on ways the code could be improved. Let's take a look at what it generated. So we can apply these suggestions by clicking the Apply in Editor button, and Copilot will make the updates for us. We can also ask Copilot to explain each suggestion for us step by step. We can take this a step further by asking specific and direct questions. Say, for example, I wanted to create a custom hook to centralize the trip fetching logic in our application to make it reusable across components. I can create a new chat conversation and ask, how can I extract the data fetching logic into a custom hook? We will then be given refactored code that allows us to extract this logic out of the dashboard component into a new hook directory that we can then use in multiple components throughout our application. Much better. Now, what if we wanted to identify redundant code in our components? With my file open, I can ask, are there any redundant code in this file? You'll see here that Copilot found some redundancies that it corrected on my behalf in the generated code block. I can go ahead and accept these changes where needed. Reviewing and refactoring your code with GitHub Copilot is a great way to do an initial overview of the work that you've done. You can also ask Copilot for performance improvement suggestions, how to make functions more modular, adding comments for readability, upgrading syntax to be more modern, and so on and so forth. We can also, if you have access, use Copilot code review on github.com 
to make the code review process even more seamless. Let's take a quick look. Let's say we have this pull request that includes component for the front end of a React project. I can actually get an initial review of my code from GitHub Copilot. So on github.com, you will notice under Reviewer, you have Copilot. Click the Request button and wait for Copilot to review your code. Once it's complete, scroll down on your page and you will see some of Copilot's comments. One thing to note is that Copilot will always leave a comment review and not an approve review or a request changes review. This means that Copilot's reviews do not count toward required reviews for pull request, and Copilot's reviews will not block merging changes. I can accept these suggestions by clicking the Commit Suggestions drop-down menu, then press Commit Changes. This will update the file with the suggested changes right on github.com. I can also batch accept suggestions by clicking the Add to Batch button. When you're finished with your PR, you can request additional reviews from Copilot and go through accepting the suggestions once again. With Copilot Code Review, you can ask GitHub Copilot to take a first look at your code before asking your team for that final review. So what are the key components of using Copilot for code review and refactoring? We can break this down into five areas. Automated suggestions. This is where Copilot suggests improvements and optimizations as you review your code. Consistency checks. This is where Copilot helps maintain coding standards by suggesting consistent naming conventions and structures for your functions. Refactoring assistance. Whether it's simplifying complex functions or reorganizing your code base, Copilot provides actionable refactoring tips. Error detection. GitHub Copilot can spot potential bugs or inefficiencies that you might have missed while building. Comment support. Copilot can help generate clear comments in your code by making your code easier to understand for others. Now remember, you are the pilots, and we call it Copilot for a reason. It's a powerful tool, but it does have some limitations. Copilot, like any LLM, relies on the context you provide. So unclear or poorly documented code might lead to less effective suggestions. Additionally, while Copilot can catch many issues, it's not a substitute for a thorough human review. Always double check the changes it suggests to ensure they align with your project's goals and standards, as well as your organization's policies. To wrap things up, GitHub Copilot is an invaluable assistant for code review and refactoring. It helps you maintain clean, efficient, and consistent code, saving you time and reducing errors. By integrating Copilot into your workflow, you can focus more on building great features and less on the nitty gritty of code maintenance. Thanks so much for joining us today. And if you want to learn more, we've created a blog post that accompanies this episode. Click the link in the description to be taken there. Remember to sign up for GitHub Copilot if you haven't already to get started for free. Let us know what you're building in the comments and if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss when we're back next season. Until then, happy coding.